good stuff. Nah, just power. Hey, this is some good stuff coming for you for the for sale by owner market. Again, the for sale by owner market is doable. It's doable no matter what nobody told you, no matter how scared you were to make them calls. If you listen to this quick video, I'm going to be straight to the point, not a whole bunch of fluff. I'm going to be transparent about it, and I'm going to show you how to get you a for sale by owner listing. My name is Stormy Madison. I'm bringing you good stuff from Quintella and Company under the umbrella of Keller Williams here in Anderson, South Carolina. So, hey, as we always say, if you would just stop, stare, and share, and we solid. We know you want to subscribe and all that good stuff. For sale by owner market, it's possible. I'm going to tell you as simple as way to do it. If you're just starting off, how to do this without spending really no money, just spending time. All right? Step one, what you're going to need. You're going to need internet. And you're going to need a phone. Now, this may seem simple, right? But then, really, number three, you're going to need some confidence, right? Because when you're talking, you need to be talking with confidence. So you need internet, phone, and confidence. The script and all that will come to you at the more you do it, but that's what you need. How are you going to get these for sale by owners? You, I don't know where you live at. I'm in Anderson, South Carolina. You could be in Charlotte. You could be in Greenville. You could be in Atlanta. You could be in Houston, wherever. This, it's going to work the same way. All you really got to do in your Google search bar is type in FSBO your city and then put Zillow at the end. So all I do is I go to right to Google, I put in S F S B O Anderson, South Carolina, Zillow. And it's gonna populate most of the for sale by owner, because that's the that's where they want to go. Great thing about these for sale by owners, they're gonna answer the phone. They they should. So you can literally go through and find pick the ones that you want to call you know maybe maybe it's some you don't want to call right but challenge yourself to just doing two a day when you make that call when you make that call i know a lot of sales people now i'm getting into the corners i know a lot of sales people uh tell you want you to be overly excited and just hey this is that uh. listen man we want to make this call you want to be on a, a, a normal tone of voice on the phone, right? And they, I promise you, they're going to give you more information of what you need on what you need to know that way. So literally, as you making a call, you got all the information up right there. You can see the property, what they gave. Don't ask them nothing really that you already see on the listing because they're going to say, ain't you ready? So simple. Will you make the call? Hey, how you doing? Whatever, they're going to say good. I was just calling about the property for sale. Um, I see it's for sale by owner. Is this the owner? Yeah, this is the owner. Hey, my name is Stormy. I'm a local agent. Um, <clears throat> I was just calling to see, are y'all open to working with buyer's agents? I didn't see it in the paragraph. Oh, well, you know, we've been thinking about it. Um, we don't know yet, or they may say, well, yeah, we're open to working with buyer's agents, but only on the buyer's side. Then I just agree with them. Awesome. I understand that, right? You know, maybe kind of laugh. I understand that. You know, you want to kind of recoup and, and get all the money out of the property you want to, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, this is the question I asked. I was like, is this an investment property or are y'all like moving, you know, to get to downgrade or upsize? Oh, well, you know, yeah, the kids moved out. So, you know, we, we're going to we're going to uh, down downsize a little bit and okay awesome y'all already found your property is it being built or well actually yeah this house is contingent on us getting our other property cool i, I can i can see that well it looks like you have uh, a lovely home and I, I know you understand the market uh right now but I, I guess one of the questions i have for you and i didn't get your name again what was your name my name is stormy what's your name oh my name's linda okay linda i'm sorry um for whatever reason, if the property didn't sell as as you know as quickly as, as you like, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have any problems. But if it didn't, um, what are you gonna be looking for? Hiring a professional to help you get it marketed and 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 move to the highest offering client. Mm, well, I don't know, and this is what I get. 
a lot of times, well, we're not really in no rush. Um, even if they said they had to sell it to get another property, it's still going to always downplay their motivation. So they might say, oh, well, we're not in no rush and, you know, we're not really trying to push it. And we got a friend that's uh, a realtor as well. So they've been showing us some stuff. Awesome. I understand that. And, you know, definitely I, if, if you have somebody that uh, that's that's related that can help, that would be awesome. My question to, to you, Linda, at the end of the day, I've I been that you're selling it for sale by owner. Um, you know, what's really more important to you, you know, as, as getting a m more money for it or, or not having to pay a commission? See that question? Linda, hey, Linda, and I'm just sliding into it. Hey, Linda, what's really, at the end of the day, what's really most important to you and your family is not paying a commission to an agent um, or really walking away with the number that you need to walk away with? Well, I mean, if we could walk away with the number we need to walk away with, that's the whole goal. Awesome. Now, look, I'm familiar with the area. I'm not saying that I have, we have a buyer. And hey, I, I don't know exactly right now if we can get the property sold yet. We have helped a lot of for sale by owners and over, and you use your, if you just started, use your company's numbers over yada, 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 sell properties this month or over the last quarter or the last year. So I'm sure that there may be an avenue to help you and still get the most money out of it. And obviously all of our work can be negotiable. What I like to do is just one day stop by, um, take a look at the property and to show you what we, we possibly could do. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, Linda, if somebody could help you get it, so help you get to where you need to be to y'all downsized property and you wouldn't walk away with the same money. I mean, is there anything that make you hesitate, hesitant on that? And that's the answer you got to get through. And you got to keep pushing through the answer. Now, if they say, well, hey, listen, we want to try it ourselves for a week, then your follow-up game is going to have to be, you know, pretty persistent with that. And you're going to have to follow up and open that communication at the end and say, okay, I understand that, Linda. Um, I just want to make sure that when I call you back to check on uh, the listings next week, uh, I will we'll be able to have that conversation. That, that won't be a, a frightening conversation, you know. And, and they may laugh and say, oh, no, that's a problem. So then they're not really remembering most people that you said a week. So maybe call them back right in four or five days. And you just call them back and, and maybe coming from contribution, asking how they're doing. Hey, Linda, this is Stormy again. I was just calling to see how your show is going. Well, we had a couple people come through and somebody was supposed to make an offer, but you know, it's the for sale by owner market. So they had to go see if they could get qualified and they're supposed to be letting me know I got you. So yeah, that, that happens sometimes, right? You get a lot of looky lose. Uh, that's what my partner always says. You get a lot of looky lose. Well, you know, Linda, I, I get that and, and we may be able to help take that guesswork. I'm actually going to be in the area tomorrow. I just wanted to pop by and just show you, like I said, we was talking about before, show you some paperwork um, and just see if it's even possible, if the numbers make sense for you. I mean, just 15 minutes, look at the property. Is, is that fine? Can I stop by tomorrow morning or afternoon? Which one's better? And kind of just roll right into it. All right. <clears throat> it does work. You have to just come. The hardest thing is to make the call. So like I say, with time you make that call, to recap on y'all saying, well, okay, that was maybe a, a, a good, you said it was going to be quick, but it was. Uh, that was a, a lot of information. Really, you're just making a call. Whatever your name is, search for sale by owner your city in Zillow, look at the properties that you want to call, make a list right there on a notepad on your computer or whatever on the pad, pick up the phone. You have to make the call. Just dial the number. It's not You already, in your head anyway, They you know that they're trying to sell it on their own. So if they give you what is expected, what's to be scared about that? You feel me? What What's to not do that? Why wouldn't you do that? So you just make the call again. Hey, how you doing? good hey i was calling the, about the property for sale by owner is this the owner yes hey well my name's stormy um i'm a local agent and just had a couple questions and i just i don't stop i just had a couple questions are you are y'all open to working with buyers agents that's a good opening question boom okay they say yeah you 
awesome, awesome. And then you're going into your motivation questions. Um, goodness, this, this is a beautiful home. Is this like a rental home, or is this y'all y'all looking to move to to downsize, upsize? Yeah, this is our motivation. This is my my husband got a new job. They gonna again. They gonna tell you what's going on. Awesome, y'all plan. How soon are y'all plan to move? Y'all, is this contingent? You ask this. Ask the questions. You just repeat what they say and then ask the questions about it. At the end of the day, all you trying to figure out is this the question you want to get to. So, being that you for sell, selling it for sale by owner, I know that you want to get the most money out the property. Miss Linda, or whatever their name is. And the question we have is, is it that you want to get the most money out of the property or does not pay a commission? Which one is most important to you? Well, we just want to get the most money out of the property. Or if they say, we don't want to pay a commission. And I understand that. What about paying the commission is uh, kind of uneasy to you? You know, what kind of makes you feel uneasy to you? And then they're going to go back to saying about getting the most out of the property. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's all they want. Point blank, period. And then your goal is to, well, hey, look, we real, well, look, we maybe can can stop by one day. Um, we're not hard pressed. We're not hard pressed. But it works. I just done this last week. Did it before I went to the beach. First call, Zach scenario, told us what they wanted to walk, they wanted to walk, they, they needed to get, uh, they had a uh, such and such payoff, and they wanted to get uh, about 40,000 from the house, so we ran the numbers. It was a, a lot of wiggle room, because we even working with us, we got a $50,000 back for them, so even if it didn't sell for what they wanted, we had about eleven to $10,000 of wiggle room. Did the call, went to the beach, told them was gonna follow up, follow up, went and did the appointment, got the listing it's cupcake it can be easy it just shows that it is possible like i said my name is stormy madison i'm a local agent in anderson south carolina with quintel and company under the umbrella of keller williams you can follow me for more quick vert it's all a conversation listen it's nothing but a conversation point blank period in every avenue of, of life and business a doctor has a conversation, an agent has a certain conversation, uh, a, a pharmacist have a certain conversation, a lawn guy who take care of your yard, have a, he know about edges and mulch. They conversation is what gets you to the money. So I'm learning this conversation and you can learn this conversation with me. I'm just here to show you that it is possible. I haven't done a thousand for sale by owner listings, but I know that it's possible. I have done it, so I know it's possible, right? So thank you again, as we always say, thank you for stop, staring, and then hopefully sharing. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to us at Good Stuff. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great blessed day.